Good morning, everybody. I'm Ed Parco, and uh, this is Real Estate Jerky Daily. Mike Kelly is still out somewhere. I think he's at a conference this week. Last week he was playing. Uh, oh, wow. Did not know that. Go live anyway. Uh, I guess there's been a new change to Facebook. They don't allow you to go live on certain pages. Uh, they're having some issues, but we'll deal with that later. All right. So, How's everybody doing today? Before I get into some major news today, I wanted to thank, or I should say applaud, uh, Modesto Robotics team here. Um, they won the uh, regional competition. Congratulations to you. Also, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Mark Zuckerberg uh, quietly sold his $30 million Bay Area home. I wonder where he's going. Florida, probably. I don't know. They're all leaving. Because why should they pay for Californians' problems? All right, so big news today was the uh, new home sales. Uh, new home sales, which measures signed contracts on new homes, decreased by three-tenths of a percent in February at a 662,000-unit analyzed pace. Uh, January's figures were, were revised higher to 664, so 2,000 more from the previous reported 661,000 units. The inventory of new homes on the market increased by 1.3% to 463,000, which the and also the median home price, the new one, decreased by 3.5% to 200 to 400 400,500. What does that mean? Nothing. That just means they were buying lower price homes because people don't want the major payment because at 400,000 that payments, you know, around 3,000 plus a month. For a lot of people, that's a lot of money. You know, it's it's expensive now to get a house. I understand why people are not looking and jumping right away because it's much more expensive today. And again, Mike Kelly will be back on, I think, Thursday or Friday. Um, but the positive thing is mortgage uh, delinquencies. A little congested today, all these allergies. Um, mortgage delinquencies are, they improved in February. Right now, there's really no reason to go foreclosure on your property. You can sell it at a good rate and actually get out of it. And that's what they're showing. The, and also people are doing things to make up their payments so they don't lose their house, like taking money out of their 401k or 403b. So delinquencies are down. The five states with the highest delinquency rate, so this is where I would go to buy some homes, is Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, Arkansas, and Indiana. The only problem is you have to live there. At the other end, the... Uh, of the spectrum, which is the least amount, is Montana, California, Idaho, Washington, and Colorado. That's the lowest delinquency rates. That's just, I can see that because we have the most equity, especially here in California. And they looked at the home flipping numbers and home flipping numbers activity for and profits plummeted in 2023. It plummeted is a big word. They're saying the activity of short term investors declined at a fast pace than 2008, faster pace than 2008. While investment returns, they sank to the lowest level of 2007. A total of 308,922 single family homes and condos were flipped in 2023, down 29.3% 29 from 436,870 flips in 2022. Of the 65,000 plus homes flipped in fourth quarter of 2023, there were a total of 52,701 investors. So that means that they're pretty much it's the smaller investors who are doing these. That means it's one and a quarter flips per investor. It's not a large person doing a bunch of them. At the national level, home flipped in 2023 were sold at it for a medium price of 306,000, generated a grossing flip profit of 66,000. So they're still making money. A 5.8% decline from the typical profit of 70,100 in 2022. However, and that is, uh, I don't want to get into that, but the, actually, where is it in 20, uh, the return on investment in 2021 was 35.7%. So nothing's really been as good as in tooth, you know, right in the beginning of the pandemic and what people were doing. One of the things I want to talk about today more than anything is Compass decided to settle the commission lawsuit. They have, they have agreed to pay 57 0.5 million into the settlement fund, adding to the 626,005 million total for of the four settlements so far. What I was reading on here is 
They agreed to make changes to its business practice as part of the settlement. These changes include that Compass offices will require or encourage agents to make it clear to clients that commissions are negotiable, that agents have the freedom to set or negotiate commissions as they see fit, and agents will not be required to make offers of compensation or accept offers of compensation from co cooperating brokers. I don't get that. That's the way it's always been in California. I don't understand this lawsuit. Well, I do understand this lawsuit. It's a, it's a FinTech lawsuit. Basically, FinTech wanted to break into this market and they found a way to do it. And how they did that is get behind these lawsuits on commission so that they can make weekend the bigger players in the market so they can come in and take over like they were not able to do before. That's just my take on it. I don't want to be sued. Uh, this week, we have some uh, major numbers, which wasn't today. Today was only new home sales. Tomorrow's durable good orders. Case Schiller, FHFA, those are the what the values are doing. Wednesday, mortgage applications. Thursday is fourth quarter GDP final read. Initial jobless claims and pending home sales. Friday, PCE, major number on Friday, depending on how that comes in. That's the favorite number for Fed. And Fed is actually, they've been talking today that uh, they came out today. A couple of the Fed people were saying that they're thinking they're going to see three um, redu reductions in the Fed funds, funds rate this, this year. I don't know about that. If it doesn't happen in the next quarter, it's not going to happen because they're not going to do it around the election because that's just going to say, you know, more interference. Not like they haven't been interfering in this election already, but that's just my take on it. All right. That's all I have for today. So remember, uh, we have a new home. Uh, what was that? New home sales are somewhat. We're still going positive. There's just not enough out there of people out there looking for homes. I know there's still three or four and only one can buy. It's just people are nervous. We need to talk to them, get them on the, get them off the fence and help. I'm telling you right now, veteran loans are the best way to do these right now because with the fact that you use the short form for the pest report, there is no issue and it's there is no additional fees that they have to pay because it's a VA loan at all anymore. So start, start taking them more than anything else. That's all I have to say today. All right, everybody, make it a great day. I'll be back tomorrow. Mike will be back on Friday. So if you're looking for him, we'll see you on Friday. All right, make it a great day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.